Toma, this is awful as I remember. I'd hoped I'd never have to drink it again. Are you all right, Eleanor? Is this your second experience with the Corsair Scourge? No, I had it for a different reason. In the Abbey, it's tradition for initiates to drink Solitoma as part of their welcoming festivities. Sounds like hazing to me. When everyone shares the same experience, drinking something so shockingly revolting, our bonds are strengthened. It's a good thing. If you say so. I really did believe I'd never have to taste it again. To be blunt, I hate it. You're lucky you think it tastes so terrible. That means you also know what tastes good. Right, Velvet? <sighs> what does that mean? Velvet can't taste anything aside from blood. What? Is that because she's a demon? I'm aware of one other flavor. Mogulu. Here's your dose of Solitoma. No! Get back here! D don't! Keep that salad thing away from me! I see. The sweet taste of another suffering. Why does it seem like everyone around me is completely mad? Yeah! Continuing to fight when you know you'll lose just is insane! Would you stand around and watch your comrade die just because you're scared? I wouldn't want to, but getting myself killed wouldn't save anyone either. Yes, it would be illogical to fight. Is being illogical really that bad? Well... At the Empyrean's throne, I remember Velvet standing, despite the horrible pain she felt. Rokuro is training with all his heart in order to defeat his brother Shigure. And Kurogane used up his own head to forge a powerful blade. None of that is very logical. Yeah, I don't know quite how to put it, but I think it's all amazing. <laughs> Aren't you forgetting someone? Hmm? Uh, Magi Lu is traveling with us even though she doesn't care and that yes go on i don't really understand what that's about uh oh, miss mogulu hang in there <laughs> <laughs> well it is amazing in some sense i suppose <laughs> Hello there. You're headed to Loringen Tower too? Just a bit ago, a brawny silver-haired man asked me how to get there. Did he say why he was going there? Something about meeting some friends of his. Exorcists use that tower to train, right? If he has exorcist friends, then maybe he's one too. But he seemed a bit rough and tumble to be an exorcist. I can't imagine a man like him. Did he say anything else? He said someone else might stop by and ask about the tower, and told me to tell him if they do. Did he mean you? <sighs> no clue. So he was planning on us following him. What's he scheming? You mean Zavid? Or the Abbey? Both.
Loringen Tower lies beyond the Burnak Plateau. Blah! If you're gonna set up an obvious trap, couldn't it at least be someplace more convenient? Hmm. <sighs> What's wrong, Lafayette? I was just wondering why Aizen and Zavid can't work together to find Eifried. All men their age care about is their reputation, their street cred. Such a hassle. Oh, really? Well, I can't fully deny it. <sighs> the same could be said of women, and of everyone, really. It's hard to work alongside someone unless you strive to understand their thoughts and feelings. And if you can't? Welcome. Well, um... It's like Zavid said. You start talking with your fists instead. Sounds harder than I thought. There's still three tre treasure chests that haven't been found. But honestly, I'll, uh, I'll bother. I'll bother with them some other time. Those rainbows. This is one of the seven wonders of the world, the Burnak Geyser. The water heats up from underground until the pressure forces it to spray up from the surface. And the rainbows are caused by light reflecting from the salt suspended in the mineral water. It took tens of thousands of years for the minerals to accumulate here and form this phenomenon. Wow, wee! That was very educational. At least you know plenty of trivia, if nothing else. Additionally, the groundwater veins that feed this geyser are connected to the sea. Because of this, every now and then a boiled octopus or crab will shoot out from the geyser! No way! That's impossible! Well, not impossible, but... With the salt content of the geyser's water, I bet they're seasoned to perfection. Mogulo, I'm declaring your bizarre imagination the eighth wonder of the world. People say that all the time. Did you get the medicine to the ship's crew? Yeah. Good. My thanks to you. These soldiers won't be happy in the morning, but they're alive. Is this your work? No. They were like this when I got here. It must have been Zavid. He didn't kill a single one. Interesting. The Abbey is going to great lengths to arrest him. Even so, he clearly knows he's walking into a trap. What I don't get is why he roped me into all of this. If he didn't want my help, then what need did he have to play the Eifree card on me? If you knew this was a trap, why did you come? To see for myself. When I met Eifried, I was wallowing in despair that I would ever find a way to break the Reaper's curse. Stop denying reality, he told me. If you were really born with that curse, then it's a part of you. There we go. But if the Reaper learns to grasp the wheel of his life, even he may find his creed, his path through stormy waters. And so, I joined him aboard the Von Eltia. A creed of life. Let's say someone's murdered the captain. If it came as the result of him living life on his terms, I could accept that. <sighs> but if anyone, and I mean anyone, tries to crush his way of life, I could never forgive them. Who's there? It's rude to eavesdrop. If you got secrets, talk about them at home. Zavid, isn't there any way you and Aizen can work together somehow? Not, Not if, if he's, he's going, going to keep, keep acting, acting like this. this. <laughs> I'll just fuck out later. <clears throat> well, that's how it is. What was the point of all that posturing? He could have just stayed hidden. Weirdo. Can't disagree there. Great. 
Loringen Tower is a training ground for exorcists, right? Yes. It's a great edifice built on ancient ruins. Luffy said. Did you ever go there when you were tethered to Teresa? I don't really remember the beginning of my service to Teresa. I see. What sort of training do they do there? Exorcists are tested and assigned Malachim equivalent to their aptitude with mana. It's also where they practice Malak arts and study our laws. So the lower ranks use it as a sparring ground in order to train up to the higher ranks? No, an exorcist's affinity to mana is not something that strengthens through training. We are given Malakim based on our inborn ability, then learn arts to suit that ability. So, an orderly is an orderly for life, then? Correct. There'd be no spirit of competition, then. Don't they want to get stronger, to advance through the ranks? There'd be no purpose to advancement. Rank signifies nothing more than the type and number of Malakim one can tether. People join the Abbey for only two reasons. To protect people from demons, and to save the world. Are all of you that dedicated to asceticism? How sickeningly noble of you. I wonder if your wills are suppressed just like those of the Malakim you use. Deviants like you could never possibly understand our motives. In any case, that is who awaits you at Loringen Tower. So we're in for a rough welcome. I say bring it on. I can't wrap my head around Zavid. Hmm. We witnessed his unwillingness to kill before, but it seems he's quite serious about it. Maybe that's why I don't feel scared of him. Even when he and Aizen were about to fight, I didn't feel tense at all. Perhaps that's just because you've been around Velvet a bit too long, kiddo. Next to her, few people are frightening. Do you think so? Don't ask me. <laughs> he doesn't come across as vicious. I think that's why you're not scared. Because he's just a brawler? <laughs> Maybe he's just naive. Okay, so he's just a naive brawler. He's still involved with Eifried's disappearance, and he's also taking on the Abbey. I just don't get him. Me neither. Uh-huh. I agree, but I don't understand any of you either. The I still need a lot of training. Is training hard? It's necessary, so no, I don't think so. <laughs> Classic honor roll, student. Aizen? Can I ask you about that thing Savid had? It belonged to Ifri, didn't it? I've read much of the Abbey's archives on weaponry, but I've never seen anything like it. He found it when we crossed to the far continent. It's a relic from a long-vanished civilization. He's like me and can't resist a good treasure. But of everything we've found, that one was his most prized. What is it? I can't say. It seemed like a weapon, but Ifri wouldn't let anyone touch it. He went off and tested it on his own, then came back all grinning, saying he had an ace up his sleeve the next time we got into a fight. Then it's definitely some sort of ancient combat device? But why is Zavid looking for Eifried? To apologize for stealing it? Wow. He doesn't seem like that much of a gentleman. Did he really steal it? What do you mean? It's just my feeling, but... Zavid doesn't seem like the type of Moloch to steal something so precious. You said he just picked it up. Perhaps he's trying to return it. Perhaps. And see what things wait for me there. This music is kind of eerie. Some gold, hell yeah. Aizen, when and how did Ifri disappear exactly? And how did you two meet in the first place? You know, you ask an awful lot of questions about us. What? I don't mean to pry, really. Perhaps it's a habit I picked up from my work. Drat, it seems I've been digging too hard. No matter. Eifried vanished about a year ago. 
He agreed to fight a duel against someone, and secretly left to meet his opponent. Once we figured out what was happening, we rushed to the scene. But all we found was the aftermath of a fight, and a pendulum. Was Zavid his opponent? Given his choice of weapon and his ability to fight, I'd say it's likely. What I don't get is why Eifried would end up captured and imprisoned by the Abbey after a fight with a stray Moloch. The Abbey had him prisoner? On their island. Until an exorcist named Melchior took him away, that is. What? Lord Melchior did? The Abbey would have captured Eifried about a year ago. Surely it must have caused quite a stir. I, I was simply patrolling. I wasn't involved in any such operations. Oh. But I do remember that we suffered a great number of casualties around that time. I never heard why. And when I went to investigate, I found no records of any major deployment. And then I was ordered to cease any such investigation by Lord Melchior. That's fishy. He wanted to hide something, clearly. And I think I'm starting to get a picture of what it was. And... it involves the Abbey? That's where I need to be. Yeah, that didn't look terrifying or anything like that. Honestly, that looks like Ivory trapped in a trap. But I'm gonna go in here. <laughs> because there's always stuff in here. You, and you still don't trust that Eleanor or never will? I'm not gonna trust her so long as she keeps working for them. The way that this story is going with her, like with all these lies about the like about the people that she's working for, which each with each and every lie that she keeps finding out about about them, she just becomes more and more What? Two ninety two Well, this halberd is... It looks cool as shit, but holy crap, does it not do as much. Whatever, I put her mana lance back on. I'm thinking she's she's gonna break. Like, she she's just gonna keep coming across all these lies until she's gonna be like Velvet and be like, fuck you too. And then, that's it. It looks like a good old fuck that shit I'm out territory. Now, this is Captain Eifried, I'm willing to bet. Then Aizen's gonna lose his shit. Then we got story, baby. Eifried. So, this is Von Eifried. Aizen, it's good to see you again. So you're alive. You could have sent a letter. <laughs> when have you ever written a letter to another man? <laughs> True. Aside from my little brother, not even once. Your brother? Ah, yes. You told me that once. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I've got no brother. <laughs> oh, what a setup. What a setup. Aizen with the reeds. With the reeds. Enough of your tricks. <laughs> oh, shit, it's Edna. <laughs> I think that's Edna. Yeah, that's definitely Edna. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. None of this is funny. Thanks for luring them out. I owe you one. Zavid. Now come on out, you old coot! So much shit. So much shit has happened. Melchior. Breaking through my double illusion. Impressive. I'm making a point not to fall for the same tricks twice. I shouldn't have let you get away last time. I won't make that mistake again. Why am I here? Her consciousness has returned, so that is its power. Holy shit. Ah! Hey, 
Hey, is that the dra is that the EX monster I'm supposed to fight? He turned her into a demon. What? This can't be happening. <laughs> It is definitely not an EX monster that I'm supposed to be fighting. The chain reaction. Your Reaper's curse is quite a dreadful affliction, isn't it? Don't you run away! <laughs> Zavid is gone. Heads up! Wyvern's coming! It's still this seamless, this seamless combat. I love it. What a Why would an exorcist create a demon? Hey, worry about that later. We've got damn dragons to take care of. They're weak. To, they're weak to Earth. So. Here I come. Do do? Then. Right, alright. What the light? Swarming. Not a coiling serpent. I don't think that'll help me out very much. She has Ice Edge. But she needs to dissolve with an ace. Okay. Spins the spear. That isn't what I need. So I'm gonna try and no, I'm not in the combo. I'm trying to miss the combo. Right Guess who spent all of it? This guy, right here. Looks like you got caught in your own trap, old man. Oh, are you sure about that? What the? I'll take care of the last one. Some ex machina shit's about to happen, boys. You gotta do things, y'all. All right, because that one was because that one was epic. Right. He just saved the wyvern. You folks jump in and kill without a second thought. Is that your creed? Marvelous. Your Siegfried is just the power I've been looking for. 
My work here is done. The hell did you do? Wait, damn you! Follow them! Alright, you guys gotta love it. Where the hell did they go? Find them. They can't have gotten far. What the, what the hell just happened? I can explain that for you, Jazz. He just used the scatter on him and said, "All done." Yep. So was it, well, so that wyvern as a bee saved was actually Edna from Tales of uh, Zest the Italian Dressing. So what the bee did was take that gun, restore her will right and then what the fat dude did was just came in copied all of his data and was just like all right i'm out damn you sure got some speedy legs for an old fart i'm glad to see you're okay zabid it's not me that i'm worried about melchior was highly interested in your weapon and yet he didn't steal it Surely a legate like him could snatch it if he wanted to. Why bother stealing it? When you can just copy its hidden formula. Some arts can decipher the workings of other arts in a split second. And guess what Melchior's specialty is? As he left, he said, my work here is done. The Abbey must have some use for that unknown art. Who knows what? After all, they brought it here from another continent. <laughs> We'll find out what they're after and crush it to dust. Let me ask you just one question. Why do you have Siegfried? I'm counting on you, he said. Back when I served the Exorcists, they sent me on a mission to capture Eifried. Zavid, you were once their slave? Yeah. My mind was under the influence of Inominat's domain. But when Eifried aimed this baby at me, one shot was all it took to open my eyes. The fight we had after that was one for the books. <laughs> he might have been a human, but that guy was a beast. Put a song in my soul. But then Melchior had to jump in and spirit Eifried away with one of his damned illusions. That old bastard! Playing tricks with people's minds. But why'd he grab Eifried and not Siegfried when he had the chance? He probably didn't know at the time that this guy was the real prize he was after. But Eifried knew. Right before he was taken, he distracted Melchior long enough to hand Siegfried over to me. <sighs> well, that's all I know. Whether you believe me or not is up to you. Got it. We're done here. Huh? That was easy. Eifried only says I'm counting on you to people he trusts. Is that so? So, what are you gonna do now? Gotta keep looking for Eifried. So we gotta give this back and settle our score. I doubt you have much time left to get that done. I'd hazard a guess that until now, Melchior was unaware what Siegfried could really do. In other words, he and the exorcists weren't able to interrogate anything out of their captive. And now that Eifried's no longer needed, I see no reason for them to keep him alive. You think I don't know that? If you really want to save Eifried, you probably ought to team up oh? with us. Nope. No can do. Why not? You lot will do anything to achieve your goals. Even kill. <gasps> Sorry, I'm a fighter, not a killer. I won't steal a single life. That's just my creed. And I've got no intention of changing our pirate creed either. Aizen and Zavid have their own creeds. They both have such strong principles, even though they're so different. 
just like humans. Well, that was sure something. Melchior and his illusions are cheats. There's no cheating in combat. What I meant is that they were awfully dirty tricks for an upstanding exorcist. And the illusions seemed so real. Had that gone on any longer, I wouldn't have been able to tell what was real and what was fake. If it can't be distinguished from reality, perhaps one could live a happier life within the illusion. Hmm. That sort of happiness can rot. You think so? But by using illusions, you can defeat an opponent without causing them any physical harm. Oh, how humane. Wow, the Abbey is so great. Lord Melchior is an exemplary man who has served Lord Artorias since before the Abbey's founding. He's done everything from logistical planning to defense strategy and even political negotiations. He shows the utmost concern, even for his opponents, so... He turned a friendly Moloch into a dragon. <laughs> that was... Physical wounds can heal. Emotional wounds never fully fade. Yeah, but... Don't lose heart, Eleanor. Foul play is foul play, but you're talking to a demon and a witch. Who can judge? I appreciate that you're trying to console me, but as an exorcist, I cannot accept this. Don't worry, Eleanor's gonna get hers. Take a Oh shit, three perfect wins. And we discover a new island. But we, we still got ship. stuff to The map's getting filled in little by little. There's still a long way to go. It's a big world out there. Yeah, that's true. And a lot can happen on the waves. The far seas are unexplored territory for a reason. I'd imagine so. The seasons and the weather can change the sea completely. Oh. Do I sense a budding interest in the sea? Think you're feeling less apathetic about it now? I wouldn't say that. I was just reminded of something someone once said to me. Can I? I can't. Gotta go back to Portland Mead. But yeah, Jazz, what that was saying, man, she's gonna get hers. She is, she is gonna, it's not gonna be now, but she's gonna fully return to our cause. Hold on. And wherever the hell this is. Can't work to renewed. I thought I smelled someone pondering. What's on your mind, Lafayette? I know Siegfried comes from another continent and all, but do you know anything else about it, Ropero? Nope, can't say I do. All I care about are swords. That contraption doesn't interest me much. I suppose that makes sense. But it looked real powerful. Just guessing based on how we saw Zavid use it, I'd say it amplifies his power somehow. An amplifier. It's true that he seemed to get stronger when he fired it at himself. Yeah, and it gave that dying legendary wyvern enough strength to escape. But wasn't it also what he used to dispel Melchior's illusions back there? That was also amplification. The Malachim are the source of his arts. The relic pushed them past their limits, and... kablooey! Suffice it to say, it can be used both offensively and defensively. It must be very hard to master. More important is what the Abbey plans to do with it. Not that I really care. Um, Laffy said? May I ask you something? What is it? The girl with the umbrella from Lord Melchior's illusion. What is her connection to Aizen? I don't think he'd answer if I asked him myself. I don't know. I was wondering about her as well. She was pretty, wasn't she? Oh, so you like a girl who's cute, but with a bit of sophistication. Really? I thought his type was more like Vel- uh, <laughs> Shh! What's going on? We were discussing a delicate topic. Muffy said's first crush, if you must know. Oh. No, we weren't. We were just talking about the Umbrella Girl from the Illusion. The Umbrella Girl. That illusion made Aizen hesitate. She must be really important to him. 
Indeed. It must be a deep, naughty relationship. Come on now. Like a wife he wants to leave, but he can never let go. Or a lover from whom he can't move on. No, that's too wild. And she's too young. Yeah, it's not that. What's more likely for a self-serving pirate is a daughter from a woman who only knows him by a fake name. Perhaps one whom he cast aside, or who cast him aside! And maybe she was somebody he couldn't marry for some reason. But when she died, he raised her daughter for her. He had been friends with her since they were children. But they only realized their true feelings after they had been married to someone else! Is this their idea of romance? In any case, beware of girls, Luffy said. Right. So at least we know... So at least... At least we know a little bit about Edna's origin. So it seems like even Edna's brother back in Tells the Destiny Italian was... was uh... Hey, I can open this. You better give me an item. Yeah. But it's just a Norman hand. Because even in uh, Tales of Zestiria, Edna was just like my brother got turned into a dragon. Perhaps that could have been it. But at least we know for a bit she was she was under someone else's control for a long while. to renew great awesome that's what I want in my life infinite fucking in our bottles now what are we gonna do what's wrong this dog came up with the book in its mouth here take a look huh it looks pretty old I've never seen this kind of writing before. It's not ancient Avarost, that's for sure. Part of it looks like a chronology, so maybe it's a history book? If I were to guess, I'd say they're Meliodasian characters, which would peg it at about 2,000 years old. It's more recent than Avarost, but the writing has fallen completely out of use. All kinds of notes are written throughout the book, too. Someone must have been studying it. If it's research material, that might make it Videl's book. Videl? Who's that? He's a weird kid who's way into studying history. He lives at the inn. Could you maybe deliver the book to him for us? We were told not to get too close to him, so... Yeah, sure. I guess. I guess it'd be better for me to go back this way. My book! My book! Where could I have left it? Are you Videl? Is this yours? My book! Oh, that book is super important to me! Thank you! Uh... I'm Lafayette. I hope you don't mind that we flipped through some of it. Can you actually read Meliodasian script? You recognize Meliodasian writing? That's unusual in this day and age. Oh, it's not that big of a deal, really. <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be an adventurer who travels the world and explores lots of ruins. So to make sure I'm ready for anything, I've been studying ancient history, starting with the Era of Darkness. The Era of Darkness? You're referring to the Dark Period, right? Right. Almost no written records from the age have survived. But if you compare the history before and after, you can tell something major must have happened. Wow, that's fascinating. I know! Look at those two, all worked up over an old fuck. My little brother was just like that too. Luffy and our brother used to. 
We received reports of suspicious persons in the area. Have you seen anything? Not good. They're on to us. <laughs> quickly, hide in my house. To quickly hide in my house. All right, so we're just going to go into this kid's house. What about his parents? Videl, have you seen anyone suspicious recently? Sorry, sir. I've been absorbed in my book. That's all right. Thanks. Look, I know it must be tough living alone with your what? mom. Just remember, your father's a praetor. He's out there fighting to protect us all. Keep your chin up for his sake at least, all right? Uh-huh. Thanks for your help, Videl. Videl, your father is an exorcist? Yeah, he is. But don't worry, I won't say anything about you and your friends. I'm your friend too! Really? And to prove it, I'll let everyone in on a big secret. This book tells you how to make an Omega Elixir, an incredibly ancient and powerful medicine. If I'm reading it right, you need five ingredients in order to create the elixir. I've only translated one of them so far, but I'll tell you what it is. That's really nice of you, Videl. But I don't have any way to repay you for this. Oh, please, think nothing of it. I'd just like it if you came and talked with me again sometime. Of course. What are friends for? The Omega Elixir. That's an ancient medicine said to be able to cure any disease. But it was my understanding that no samples or recipes survived the Era of Darkness. Meliodasian script was used prior to the Era of Darkness, so I guess it's possible that Videl's recipe might be legit. He's just a kid. I don't know how much we can trust his translation. You saw his notes. I doubt many adults could even get anything out of that book. He might be onto something. Kids are more capable than we give them credit for, especially where their interests lie. I think we can trust Videl. Lothi used to read books intently like that, too. Furthermore, couldn't a hypothetical Omega Elixir be quite useful to you, Velvet? Lothi said, you look like you really want to track down those ingredients. Yeah, I do. Personally, I don't really care. But if you want to look for them, I won't stop you. Okay. Hooray. Oh, this is just a mini game. Don't mind me, you gentlemen. We're just your average everyday group of demons just passing through here. This big storm came and swept me out to a class 4 island. And let me tell you, it's as bad as the rumors make it sound. I wanted to just wait it out in a shipyard somewhere, but then the water turned all gooey. Then I had these jellyfish things coming onto the deck. And before I knew it, slugs were swimming around in the damn ocean. Wouldn't the salt in seawater mess up a slug? Yeah, that's what I thought too. But these weren't no sea slugs neither. It was scary. I'll tell you that much. You want my advice? Stay the hell away from that island altogether. But if you do go, watch out for that gooey stuff. What did that pirate mean by class four? I've never heard of that. It's a classification the Abbey uses to help inform their strategy. An estimation of how well they've been able to manage the demon outbreak in an area. Administrative zone classes 1 through 3 have been assigned a suitable contingent of exorcists to guarantee the population's safety. So... Class 4 administrative zones are ones that are still unsafe? 
In a perfect world, the entire kingdom would be protected, but there's just not enough manpower to go around. The Abbey doesn't send exorcists to remote areas and far-off islands. Instead, they avoid casualties by making those areas off-limits. But that pirate mentioned he'd come close to an island. Are those policies actually enforced? They send out an official notice to stay away, and that's all. It's not like they could blockade every tiny remote island out there. So you're free to dive into the deep end if you want, but no one will come to your rescue. Hope you know how to swim. If they could keep the demons in check, they wouldn't have to tell people to stay clear. Frankly, I think the Abbey just doesn't want to go near places like that. In other words, these are dangerous places that the Abbey has washed their hands of. Makes you wonder how much they can administrate these places when they're not willing to get their hands dirty. Are there many Class IV administrative zones? I've heard of ten such regions in my time working as an inspector for the Abbey, but I'm afraid I couldn't tell you their exact locations or their current status. If the Abbey abandoned this island, it's probably safe to assume that it's getting to be pretty dangerous. If we go there, we're gonna want to be prepared. You can now go to a class 4 administrative zone. That seems like some type of XP farming area. What you got for me? Demons! There's more of them! A whole band of them rampaging through Warg Forest! There was already one dangerous demon in those woods, and now we have more! And they're still on the loose! A lot of exorcists have come to deal with them, but... What do these demons look like? That's what I want to know. Those Abbey people won't tell us nothing. Every time a demon comes around, it's all, show us your cargo this, and don't leave port for a while that. How are we supposed to catch any fish? These demons really are a pain in the neck. If I was an exorcist, I'd lay down some justice, I tell ya. At the end of the day, it's not the demons or the exorcists that have it rough. It's us normal folk. Anyway, you guys should be careful. There are demons about. Thanks for the warning. First mate! You're all right! Sorry to worry you. And the captain? It turned out to be a fake. But now I know the real one's still alive somewhere. Well, of course he is. Not that he has a lot of time left. Why would she say that? What do you mean? Calm down. I'll explain later. Eisen! Y you stay calm too, okay? <laughs> And you've all taken your salatoma? Yes, sir. And nobody died? All still kicking. Compared to your curse, sir, the sickness was tiny potatoes. All right. Then let's get ready to sail out. Already done, sir. We're ready whenever. <laughs> <sighs> the pirate's creed, huh? There's worse out there. Head, what head to the southern port city of the assault again? Why do I have to go there? I, I'm, it's been unprovoked. Are you gonna know what the beam yeah, right. looks like? This legit, this legit threw me off. Where am I supposed to go? I'm supposed to, am I stuck? I'm fucking stuck. What the, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? How did I get stuck? Alright, I'm out. So now I need to go further south. The frogs are still there chilling. Nice. 
can't take without a death wish. Death wish if they fuck with the frogs. The frogs give nothing. All oh, these life bottles. These are not the bottles I need because I don't die. At least not yet. There's probably gonna be some point in the story where the shit just jacked itself up. Be all extra slow and shit. I just don't know. Hold on. World. World. Yes. Search for long nails dust. Tunnels for that. I gotta go I gotta go back to the city for that. See, I need to go here. So that will require me to do all of this shit. The thing is, uh, I don't exactly remember how I got there. Not like that Lafayette said side quest something I want to do as well. I don't have a problem doing it. It's just that I'm just trying to fast travel in between all these areas. Focus with the two. Just that. Unless I put it on a difficulty harder than hard, I don't. You don't think I'll ever die? Hmm. Well, well, even then, even then, Sano, you got a point there. I don't think. I don't think I'm really looking for a challenge on the first playthrough. Like, maybe, like maybe if I do New Game Plus Eleven again. Then that'll probably when I like turn it up. I gotta, I gotta break this stuff down.
don't need. I just had to put it on normal for an optional boss fight. I kept dying. You just had to put it on normal for an optional boss fight. Ah. That must be some real shit you're getting yourself into there, Sonny. earrings. Got that up as much as I could. Yeah, I'm losing out on some defense there, but that's alright. And look at all, look at all these fucking chess pieces I have. Chess pieces, right? Eisen has the same thing. And they look, they've all mastered this thing. Calciite waistcoat. Go over to Eisen. I might go. I might have to keep this one. Then I'll enhance it. Probably need to get him better pendants. Yeah. I could probably get chest points. Ha, <laughs> yeah, right. Right. That, that's <laughs> that's a good one. Thank you, Jazz. I'm glad you I'm glad you caught that one, because I sure as hell did not. Well what I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get everybody equipped with Everybody gets one master skill. Everybody gets two enhancement bonus and then two random skills. The random skills I don't need to worry about. It's just the enhancement bonuses that I get. I have to get to a certain level. I have to get to a certain level with those. And I'll be able to unlock those. And as you can see, not all of them always gives me that. So what I'm trying to do is I want to get everybody evened out with everything. Like, for example, uh, Magi Lu's boots here only has a master skill and enhancement bonuses on it. But if I give her, like, maybe a pair of these Floric boots, it already has, it already has better focus for her, and you get art defense as well. So instead, she does she does hella arts so I want to give her probably this one because this is universal and you can't go wrong with this one I might give her these I'm gonna have her equip these and I need to give her better earrings as well so now Magilu has 
one two two and everything this is one two two this is one two two and the titles what we get later on just by playing yeah bike shoes he has two what about Lafayette said 2.0? Lafayette said is 122 in these. I know Velvet's alright. I didn't upgrade these though. probably the downside of Eleanor's mana lance because this is when she got introduced to the party she had this weapon which is really good for her. she has all of her match she has all of her skills and enhancement bonuses on these but they don't have extra random skills to go along with it I need to get her a better chess piece Art attack? Well, she does do arts. Then Tommy can't use items? I'll take that. Time you can't use items reduced, so I'll give I'll give Lafayette set that. Talisman and gets a Floric Talisman. Is there one? Is there one for Eisen? There's not one for Eisen. This is a fucking robbery. Now I'll just mantle what I have here. The rings, everybody needs better rings, just about. That has two in it, that has two in it. These have two in it, all of the boots have two in them. I might I might stream Warframe tomorrow. I know I wanna at least play Warframe on stream while I get myself ready for the Planes of Eidolon coming soon. I think it's coming in five days. Yeah, I definitely want I definitely want to get myself on that. I'm gonna go over to the shoes. Oh, I don't need to increase this anymore. I can increase these. 
damn free stuff. Man, would you look up? This is really all about just activating skills. And the only ones, the only ones that I can't do right now are the ones that are locked behind anything that's plus three. Because plus three is the furthest I can go. Oh, look at that. So like so any reason that I would have to boost this up anymore was just so it could be a better item overall. For example, like that. Like I got it to plus three when I ex like when I get further than a certain point in the story, I'll unlock the ability to upgrade my items to maybe plus four, plus five, and plus six. But I think like definitely towards the end, what's gonna really matter is just how good the item is. Maybe it's rarity, and then whatever I can get for it. Then oh, I can get. I can upgrade this. The only reason that I'm upgrading it as far as I can now is just so it can be stronger because I really don't go to shops much in this game. Unless I'm just like sitting down and trying to plan everything out. So now, now I'm gonna dismantle all the stuff that I can safely get rid of. I can't, I can't upgrade anything. I kept some of Velvet's weapons just because. Consumables. I can safely afford that. Oh shit, if I did this, if I, oh, if I bought, if I filled myself up completely on these, I would have like 50 gall left. So I'm gonna get nine of each, that way I have ten of everything. Hey, level five, discount. Allows, allows the use of martial art derivatives under certain conditions, I don't even know what that is. But I'm filled out on all my gels. It's not like I'm dying, but who cares about that? For some reason, this floric belt seems really good. This is outright a better, a better floric belt. Break soul power. Break soul power. I still get break soul power. Defeating foes. I might have to pass on this. I get two defensive stats that are increased, and I no, actually two offensive stats that are increased. But I lose uh, physical defense if I bought this belt. I would still get break soul power. I would get more attack. I would still get HP recovery. The thing about this Aphrodite Slash that I have is that I'll get 80 health. I'll get 80 health every single time I kill s <coughs> I'll kill something. Whereas if I was to buy this Floric Belt and maybe upgrade it, I would get better art damage, which would help me kill things better. But I wouldn't get 80 health back. I would instead get 30 health back. But I would be able to kill undead things without fucking a body. I should have should have hit buy and equip. Distress, yeah. This I have I have a bit of a problem with the strats, man. I can't even upgrade it. Damn it. I need fluorite fragments that I have spent. What are the cheapest? <laughs> so I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy that. Dismantle it. That way I can go and enhance enhance this. What? I didn't get fluoride fragments for that. Have I been robbed? Calcite. Forgot about you. There we go. I thought I had something there. Oh shit, now it's done. Alright. Hmm. 
I think the game was on to me. So let me let me dismantle this, right? Will I get a fluoride fragment? I will. That way I can go to enhance and at least bump this up one more time. Now I got the break soul power. Expedition has returned. People got hella titles. Take a look at this. Hello, oh, hell yeah, too. Quitting is the same as defeat. Oh shit, she just changed it to a triple perfect. Okay, Jazz. Alright, look. We don't trust Eleanor, right? But we can easily say Scout sh that she is. She, we can't say that she's not coming in clutch for us right now. Let me check out some of these. Damage reduction. Oh shit! I'm gonna take this enchantress one. I actually have three, three of those. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go look through these, see what I got in this one. Look at that! Holy shit! I'm gonna go. I'm gonna just keep soul answer on her. I'm glad I made that emote, Jazz. I'm glad I made that one my emote. It's just when, like, whenever I'm doing stuff like this on stream, it's just like the perfect emote to have. Or if I'm ever, or if I'm ever playing a multiplayer game, and somebody gets outplayed, which is something that happens a lot. There's just, it's just a thing that happens. Boom, emote right there. Yeah. Master of the round one knockout. Invulnerability time. Yeah, I'll give him Shadow Stepper. Alright. Another thing there. Another thing. Is it because I didn't... I don't know how. I don't know how these requirements work. Now there's some brand new place that I can't get to. Zexon. Damn it. Road map. Like, where's an area that's over there that I hope, that I pray that I've been to before? Because I'll knock out, I'll knock out, I'll knock this out for him. Port Candace. Can I go to Port Candace? I can! Look at that. Constantly upgrading. I'm starting to get it, Jazz. I'm starting to get it. The little ins and outs of this game. Sucks that I gotta use a bottle for it. I can't just fast travel. But, hey, that's just a small sacrifice, right? It's not like they're, it's not like they're not selling the things I need. Assault, but I'll I'll probably do that in my next stream of this game. I'm also gonna change my face cam around. I want I want my face cam like I'm like very distant from my face cam. I want it I want it to be closer, but I also don't want it to be 16 by 9 either. I was thinking about making it 4 by 3. So that way the face cam is like natural. I have to use fire. Right? Right? I have to use fire. 
No. the face cam to be like exactly what it is just the face cam you know <laughs> tunnel of depths okay so I just gotta keep going Maybe, maybe sometime down the road. I figured I'd put, put this face cam to use since, like, I've had it for the longest time, but I don't ever use it. But even then, despite all that, it's just eye strain is, like, my biggest thing. Because, like, if I was going to have this face cam on, I don't want to look like I'm suffering while I'm streaming because of the eye strain, you know? Or like I may wear shades or something like that while I'm streaming or something. Like I used to. circle shades anymore it I mean they're right here like they're they're right here I'll still use them they're like my go-to shades whenever I feel like wearing shades it's just it's just that if I were to wear them the frequency in which I wear them I would have to explain like why do you wear those shades because man the bright the brightness of the game hurts my eyes <laughs> Investor tunnels. That's why. That's why I have to go into Kurogani's workshop.
some of bits. Some may have just taken the wrong turn somewhere. Hmm. Lots of places, so little time. Yeah, right. So it's like this is the only way I can go. I think I was on my way. I think we had shit. That shit made me. F that makes me frustrated at myself for giving up because I was probably I was probably like right on top of it, and I decided just I didn't like I didn't trust my first instinct. So now I went and wasted wasted two bottles trying to move around here. But it's okay. I got it now. I wonder if Miklio and Soray would be in this game. Just because Zavid and Edna are in the game, too. But then again, all I care about is Zavid anyway. Zavid's probably... Zavid is like my second favorite sales character of all time. That he has the same... I think he, I think he has the same voice actor as Gil from God Eater as well. A dangerous encounter. Well, at least I can keep farming those souls. Keep opening up, keep opening up those cat boxes, which quite frequently keep telling me to go fuck myself. Like, like it's like I want an, I want an item, right?